Hello, everybody. We are here for the Daytona 500 with Chris Wash. The 52 of Chris Washer is on the pole in that beautiful red and white um, Troyer. Here is your starting lineup for the Daytona 500. And there you have it. The word made famous words in motorsports. Uh, we shouldn't really be in danger of overheating. And we are but listening to Chris Washer's team audio. Just keep an eye on that. So we're getting set to go green at Daytona. 52 is on the pole, followed by Caleb Andrews. The pace car is off. The cars are coming through turn through the trioval. The green flag is out and we're underway at Daytona. Fifty two out to a great lead off the start. And then Caleb Andrews still follows behind him. Three wide behind fifth position. Making a little contact back there. Now the 25 of Caleb Andrews makes a good run. Down and oh my god, we have a huge crash. Oh man, another crash. Two separate incidents happening here. Oh man. Nick Pericles involved, Kristen Kohler involved, Wyatt Warner involved, Michael Finch involved. Whoa, man! Will Davis, I guarantee, I think he was retaliating on the 48. And his tempers are flaring between them. He just slammed right into the back of the 48, and he's probably not going to be able to continue. We're going to take a look at what happened. It's two separate incidents here. And it was the 48's fault. No! Somebody got into Kristen Kohler. And then... All heck broke loose. And then there was a separate incident coming out of turn four. We're going to go on board with Kristen Kohler. And then there was a separate incident up in front involving some cars. I think then we're gonna take a look at this one. Didn't involve too many cars, but the 35 almost went upside down when he came back on the apron. Or came back up onto the track. He almost flipped. On board with the 35.
did a good job dodging it, but then he got into the back of somebody. And the 77 got into the back of him, and they both went spinning. So tough break for him. And your leader is 25 of Caleb Andrews. So we're going to skip ahead here. And uh, we will go to the green flag right now. We're going to set to go green here in Daytona. Restarting the race. Pace car is off. They're coming into the tri-oval. Green flag is out and we are back underway at Daytona. It is mail time with Seth Brown. He reads mail that is from you. Now it's mail time with Seth Brown. This is when Seth reads his mail. Yeah. And the 52 has made the pass on Caleb Andrews. Chris Washer is now your leader. Caleb Andrews is close behind. Caleb Andrews now goes to the inside, and he's going to try and pass him back. Three wide in the back. And now, Caleb Andrews is your leader with Corey Brown right behind him. goes down to block Chris Washer as he almost made the pass. They're in a wreck. I know they are. Three wide behind them. Caleb Andrews still the leader here today. Now the 43 is going to try and go in his inside, and that is the 43 of Travis Froster. He's now the leader. Three wide again. 51 is pushing somebody can't tell who that is. I think it's the 25 of Caleb Andrews. <laughs> now the 51 is trying to get around the 43 and he's just getting past the 52 of Chris Washer. Now Travis Foster has to block him and he makes a successful block. And now, Travis Froster has challenges down below. It's Caleb Andrews. And by the way, it's... I, oh, I just said Chris Washer. It's Travis Froster. Sorry about that. Um... So, yeah. goes to the inside. He almost made the move. Corey Brown is trying to make a move back in the back of the pack. Caleb Andrews now behind Travis Froster. Three wide behind them. Car in the wall. It's the 51. He's in the wall again. Coming through the tri-oval. We're halfway home. Three wide behind the back there. Um. Yeah. Three fifty seven now trying to go under a uh, Travis Foster. 
That, that's Craig Conza. I think he started in the back, and so and he got around that crash, and that gave him a big, big jump in position. He is now three wide behind the leader. Four wide behind the leader, and that's going to result in a crash. Yes! Oh my God! There's a car upside down. There's a car upside down. Oh my God! Another wreck. Ninety-nine saves it. Who was that that was upside down? There's a driver sitting in the grass. It was Gary Long. We're gonna take a look at what happened. Somebody was upside down. Oh, that was the 357! Was upside down. He was on top of somebody. I'm not sure who that is. And the 25 also may have went upside down. Nope. He was on, but the 357 was on top of somebody, and then he goes up and over. He goes upside down, and the 97 gets some big air. 357 tumbles once, and lands back on his wheels. And the 25 got some air, too. That was a big crash. And then there was another crash up ahead. And that resulted in a driver saving it, or that driver saved it. And that was a wild ride for the 357. We're going to go on board with him. That was a lot of hard hits. I'm going to go on board with Gary Long, who was right behind this as it happened. And then he got clipped by the 357 when he was flipping. And that's how he got involved. Mark Sanders went for a heck of a ride. And he was way back in the back, and he just had nowhere to go. He hit the 97 hard in the rear. And we have to go on board with Caleb Andrews. Started on the pole, and now his day has gone downhill. Take a look at what happened in that second incident. Coming out of turn four. I think it was just an incident where drivers were trying to come back on the track. And then they pulled out in front of somebody. Yes, that is exactly what happened. The 51 pulled out on track. Put the 21 in the wall hard. And the 99 followed. 51... Saved it, and then when the 99 hit the wall with the rear, he he turned the car back around and saved it. So, whoops. So yeah. Uh, who's the leader? Oh, uh, 43. If Travis Froster still your leader. And we will take you to the green flag right now. This car is off. We're getting set to go green again. Green flag is out and we're underway again here at Daytona. The fans are on their feet. Who's going to take home the championship for the Daytona 500? The 18 of Ryan Lochran gets around Travis Froster for the lead.
That was a technical photo finish at the end of lap 17. The 18 and the 43 were four one hundredths of a second behind, er, separated each other. Now the 43 is back into the lead. Ryan Lochran gets help on the outside from the 52. Now he's going to try and pass on the outside. That's hard to do. And now the 52 is going to pass Ryan Locker, and he's going to try and challenge the 43 for the lead. That is disrespectful to Ryan Locker. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really care. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, the 52 drops away from his drafting partner to get behind the 43, and Ryan Locker almost decided to retaliate there, but he did not want to wreck his car. We're coming to the white flag. The 43 is your leader. Ryan Locker goes to his outside. He's going to try and, and he dives back behind him. White flag is out one more time. The 43 needs to stay in the lead if he wants to win the race. But Ryan Locker is still challenging him for the lead. And now we got a third place car coming for the lead. They're going to try and corner him. Coming through turns three and four. They're going to try and get around him on both sides. 52 is now drafting behind him. He's going to try and slingshot. And the 43 takes home the win at Daytona. Congratulations to Travis Froster for the win, and he's going to be your winner, and, um, yeah, he's going to be your winner, and, uh, Chris Washer second, Ryan Locker in third, Zach Austin fourth, Tom Gerard fifth, rounds at the top five, Zachary Brown sixth, Kevin Haley seventh, Sam Curtis eighth, Friend of Pericles ninth, Derek Umstock tenth. Caleb Hobbs 11th, Jackson Williams or 12th, 13th is K Wyatt Warner, Chris Collins of 14th, Michael Finch rounds out your top 15, Car Chris Long, Gordon Dinsmore, Kyle Thomas, Ash Curtis, and Alex Lozano rounds out your top 20. 21 cars on the lead lap. Caleb Andrews was our only car on a lap down. The rest were either the rest of the cars were out. So. That's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and we're going to take you to the winner screen. And uh, you got, uh, um, just so you guys know, your the points are the exact same way as how they finished today. Because it's the first race of the season. So um, We will see you at Eldora for our next race, the Mud Summer Classic 50. Goodbye, everybody.